Haven, many thanks for tuning in to Y254 TV. It is the 22nd day of the ninth month, the year is 2022. I trust that you have been okay. A very good Thursday evening to you. My name is Dereva Hillary. Welcome to the news beat. The government plans to extend the fertilizer subsidy program to the long range season next year while flagging off 1.4 million bags of fertilizer to various parts of the region. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa said the government is seeking to import more fertilizer to put more acres under food crops, uh, crops to boost the yields. Facing unprecedented high food prices occasioned by both internal and external factors. The government is alive to the high cost of living that has persisted over the past years. The price of maize, flour in particular, which is our main staple food, has been high for the better part of this year. Erratic rainforest, high input costs, particularly fertilizer, among other factors, have led to reduced production of maize and other food crops. <clears throat> the preferring drought in arid and semi-arid lands has worsened the food situation in that region of our country. This food and nutritional situation is of concern with our annual production for major food crops, notably maize, beans, wheat, and rice, falling way short of our national demand and consumption, pointing to reliance on food inputs. As a government, we are focused on increasing agricultural productivity that will lead to increased supply and eventually lower food prices due to the forces of supply and demand. In this regard, that one of our first pronouncements was to lower fertilizer prices to set the pace for the implementation of this intervention, dubbed the Fertilizer Subsidy Program. The National Treasury has already failed $3.55 billion towards this intervention. Under this program, the government through the National Series and Produce Board will make available 1.4 million bucks, 1.4 million bucks or 50 kg of fertilizer to farmers during the ongoing short range season at the prices are stabilized here below. The cost, the new cost of DAP will be 3,500 from nearly 7,000. The price of CAN will be 2,875. The cost of urea, again, that was way below, beyond 7,000, will be 3,500. NPK, 3,275. MOP, 1,775. While salvate of ammonia will be 2,220. I appeal to farmers in the regions that are receiving the short rains to reach out to local national cities and produce depots and sub depots to access the required fertilizer. Finally, let me assure all farmers throughout the country that we are all private to offer fertilizer requirements for the long range season 2023. The government has commenced consultations with key actors and stakeholders to ensure quality, affordable, and accessible fertilizer that will be available to all farmers across our great nation. The national government, in conjunction with the Busia County government, have intensified surveillance and embarked on thorough scrutiny of travelers and truck drivers along the Kenya-Uganda border. This even as another death of one-year-old child suspected to have succumbed to Ebola-like symptoms was reported by Uganda's health ministry. Um, port Health, Busia border and Malaba border. So those staff are already screening travelers up or kwao uh, in terms of uh, just looking at the signs of uh, anybody who could be having signs of uh, uh, Ebola viral disease. But tunataka kulayas na Ministry of Interior ili ya kwamba watu wote waweze kuingia Kenya through the official route. Kwa sababu hapo ndiyo tuko na screening inaendelea. Nyemi nilikuwa naomba kama serikali ingewezekana kila maali hiyo kipimo ya Ebola ikweko Kwa sababu sasa wenye wanapita pia kupande wa mkato mkato pia wapate kupimu. Ebola walete mashini. 
The clergy has cautioned members of parliament against reintroducing their sitting mileage and car allowances, saying that this will increase burden on Kenyans who are already suffering. This follows remarks by National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula, who assured the lawmakers that their car allowances, mileage reimbursements, mortgage and other benefits will be reinstated. The church leaders led by Glory Outreach Assembly Bishop David Dagana say the MPs should instead focus on addressing the numerous challenges the Kenyans are currently facing. He also added that the introduction of the parliamentary's hefty packs that were earlier on abolished by salaries and uh, S SRC will uh, augment the wage bill which currently stands at 930.5 billion shillings annually. Pale ofisini na ni ujamaliza hata mwezi na umeanza kuitisha allowances. Inaonyesha na kwamba aweki maslahi ya wa Kenya mbele, unaweka ile ubinafsi na pengine ni tamaa kwa lugha nyingine inakuongoza. Ni sisi tungewaomba sana wacha maswala ya mwananchi wa kawaida yawe e, ya kwanza ama ya kipaumbele katika e, ile bunge hii season ambayo wameingia ya 13th. Would wish that our leaders and parliamentarians that the leaders from the front in becoming patient with uh, with the new government and with our with our economy to build itself but there is no way you can ask us as citizens to become patient with you in office so that you can build the economy that you have told us was in ICU and then from the other side you just talk about increasing your salaries and work like other Kenyans who are uh, sacrificing themselves and provide servant leadership and in keeping with Parliament, the National Treasury attributes the rise in pending bills in the county, country to poor revenue collection by counties. National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Kukuriatani says most county government miss their revenue collection targets, forcing them to solely rely on disbandment from the National Treasury to finance the opponents, a situation that has seen a stock of pending bills increase. County councils and the municipal councils of those times they collect more revenue than the current one. And yet those are not tailor-made. I mean, they are small organizations, ill-equipped, less experienced, without necessary capacity to manage that. If they do not do it, and they have such a big budget, you end up collecting, spending money that you do not have. And the process accumulates lots of pending bills, which now impacts on the general state of the economy, at the county level. Now to more disturbing issues, hides from Kajadu County have decried the exorbitant prices of hay grass. This is as the Kajadu hay growers cooperative society warned of dangerous sewer grass being sold to unscrupulous uh, Sorry, so to unsuspecting herders by unscrupulous uh, traders. Hay traders have taken the advantage of the current drought situation in the region to make a kill from the desperate livestock farmers. <laughs> na ngombe yenyewe haitoi pesa kwa sababu ngombe moja hapo mbele tulikuwa tunauza ngombe kwa shilingi 3000 ile ungeleta sokoni angasi ana sidi ngombe anakuwa mwigoi sana hata mbusi anakuwa akiangasi na sidi kabisa ngombe ngombe anakufa also adding what we call the cash plus which is cash transfer, which is going to really add and give some income to the communities that are really vulnerable. We have a lot of money, 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 Meanwhile, Wajia County government now says the drought situation in the region has reached an alarming stage with the residents staring at starvation. Wajia County Governor Hamid Abdullahi said 90% of residents have been affected with a total of 28,000 depending on cash transfer from government and other development partners. ...of the devastating drought. We as a government will do everything possible to track water to sites 
where the livestock and the people are. We will make whatever intervention as a government. That we, we are also coordinating very well with our development partners to try and get whatever help we can to the people who are suffering as a result of this drought situation. It's the only county that has not passed a budget before the elections, which then puts both the county assembly and the county executive in a very tight spot. We might uh, ask the executive and the governor to come up with a special bill so that which we can act faster so that uh, people can at least reduce their need. will be elevated to a level where it will be a very significant cog in the wheel of running government. It will Truck drivers applying the Northern Corridor are crying foul of increased insecurity in Webuye and Kaberengu. Traffic congestion at the Buda as a result of the uh, Ebola alert has a slowed movement of trucks at the border, which has seen criminals take advantage of the situation to harass and steal from truck drivers. They are now calling for government intervention to remedy the situation. Well, wameanza kusumbua madereva wanakata pipes za upepo gari kisimama wao wanakuvamia wanakupora kila kitu na jana mimi nimevamiwa pale Kabrengu na vijana saiti ya kumi. walikata pipe wakati nilisimama wakanivamia wakanipora pesa wakanipora simu zote kila kitu wakachukua kisikia kwamba kuna Ebola lakini sasa tutafanya namna gani sisi David tuendelee na safari tutakosho ni yetakuweko kama ni kuchanjwa kama ni kufanya nini tutafuata vile serikali itatuambia security ndio imekuwa shida hata vinyo msikia mwanangu anaongea imekuwa shida sababu pale kuna hizo bombs na gari haiwezi kwenda speed so gari kitirumbu sana anapita mabombs hizo ndio wanaingia wanakata hizo pipe hapo Mombasa County Governor Abdul Samad Nasir has shut down all illegal landfills that are expected to be cleared within seven days. Abdul Samad said the, that the move is aimed at cleaning up the coastal city of Mombasa that has been struggling with the sanitation over the years. Transfer points will now be directly for for Magari. For time flani, for time flani. The public will be informed by this week. This week is Sunday. Wataanza kujulishwa taka zako wewe wa mtaa fulani utakuwa unazipeleka mahali fulani time fulani paka time fulani. Nyakati za utupaji taka ovyo wewe ambaye huko Mombasa zimekwisha. Tumesema ya kuwa tutatoa ile ada magari makubwa yale makampuni yanaulipa kule mwa Kirungi. Na hizi kampuni ndogo ndogo matuktuk na mikokoteni hakuna mtu kulipa ada yoyote kuja katika transfer point kwa sababu wao ndo wanasababisha kwa sababu ya zile gharama mtu anaanza kubwaga bwaga barabarani kila mmoja atafute riski yake lakini isiwe ni sababu ya kuchafua mji wetu haya ni majukumu ya kila mtu we will not atutotendekezana uh, saa zote na hizi mambo ya taka and this is uh, ikiwa zile kampuni tume waive those fees they will take personal responsibility wakipatikana wanamwaga Apart from that, we would want the CBOs to have a business mind and ensure that this, we look at this as seed money towards building a better tomorrow. So if we say that uh, Taka ni Mali, then let us walk the talk. For It's now quarter past seven. The news will be taking a very short break. See you on the other side of these commercials. Stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned. This is Y254 TV. You're watching a news beat. University Education Principal Secretary Simon Nabukwes is now urging the 13th Parliament to review the University Amendment Act of 2021, which seeks to allow scholars with doctorate of philosophy, PhD, and special skills to work beyond their retirement age of 70 years. Nabukwes says such schools have experience with which uh, have expertise which should be harnessed in research consortiums in universities.
um, the research portfolio, how we can motivate research scientists so that they come up with the renovations, renovations that can be admired and appreciated across the world so that uh, we also commercialize innovations. We're also considering that um, we are a fast growing population and with therefore increasing demand for university education. How do we make it uh, of greater uh, quality? How do we internationalize university education and create linkages with the industry and the potential employers so that university products do not linger around looking for jobs and being jobless for a long time. So focusing on research because the interface between what happens in the classroom and what happens in the field and laboratories is so crucial for the economic development. And as we innovate, as we do research, then we'll patent and publish. And when many people in a university do that, then that also adds value to the university in terms of the income through patents. We'll also be looking at issues to do with research, innovation, and commercialization in the university sector, among other issues. We'll also be comparing experiences with other countries. We have presenters coming from South Africa and many other countries to share with us experiences in their countries and how they deal with some of the issues we have. The National Legal Aid Services partnered with the European Union through the Legal Aid Delivery Program to build the capacity of state legal offices in delivering free legal aid services to the indi in indigent and marginalized groups. The program is set to run for five years and targets vulnerable Kenyans from 12 counties. They are able to get an opportunity to visit communication authority tent where we have set up and they are being taught on the safe use of internet. We know with technology a lot of vices come in and our children have to keep on being taught every other time on how to use internet. Apologies for that mix-up. Now, the Communication Authority of Kenya, CA, is maximizing the ongoing 94th Kenyan Music Festival to create awareness and education and educate rather learners on safe internet use. CK has introduced the Child Online Protection theme at the festival. The of Kenya are one of our partners this year, and they come in with the theme Child Online Protection and they are interacting with the children of this republic. All over you can see the classes they are holding practically with the students, so that when the children are not in the halls performing, they are able to get an opportunity to visit communication authority tent where we have set up, and they are being taught on the safe use of internet. We know with technology a lot of vices come in, and our children have to keep on being taught every other time on how to use internet in and within a safe environment and we really want to thank communication authority for coming up to have this uh, filtering and blocking software these tools you're able to actually limit what they can see what they can respond to what what they can access so uh, it allows you control over what is there but the biggest tool always remains awareness awareness when you make them aware they will know what is right and wrong. What they have told me about the internet is that there are, something we sh there are things we should ab abstain from the internet, like watching por pornographies. I uh, have learned about how to abstain, like someone whom you don't know, like he's trying to catch up with your attention in their own life, and also about the offline internet. A joint com com committee of Kikuyu elders and church pastors have agreed to decommission a giant mogumo tree that has halted the construction of Roiro Gedongori Nyambari Highway due to its proximity to the road. The removal of the tree, which is considered sacred by the Agikoyo community, was necessitated by the breaking of its branches, which fell on nearby houses and on electric power lines along the busy road. Kimila uh, Kikuyu. Sio muti ya kuchukua ovyo ovyo. Ni kitu ambaye, ambaye, ni muti ambaye ukianguka, lazima waze wote wakutane hapa, di wangalao, waweza kujua vile watakifanya. Sasa kwa vile hiku kwa kandisa, 
hali iko sasa iko kwa kanisa tulikuwa na kuja hapa ili ku wazee wazee wa, wa kikikuyu na wazee wa kanisa waone namna ya kuondoa hiyo kwa sababu ni hatari sana is limited is warning of rising the consumption of the illegal brews due to the rising alcohol tax uh, taxation in the country the giant brewer father says the implementation of the inflation adjustments taxes by the kenya revenue authority will reintroduce or result in reduced government revenues losses to farmers distributors and loss of jobs the brewer says barely uh, Bali and sorghum based beer sales have declined by 21% and 32% respectively for the period of July and August 2022. And Kenya has signed a memorandum of understanding with South Korea on a development of Smart City Master Plan at the Konza Technopolis. The MOU also covers development framework for the 5,000 acre Smart City as well as a feasibility study on the Integrated Control Center. In the Integrated Control Center and also uh, the smart mobility and these are some of the needs that are required not only at Konza Technopolis but across our emerging uh, towns and cities in Kenya. The MOU is to establish a core relationship between the two governments in the terms of ICT making Konza Technopolis the Silicon Savannah and the Korean government is trying to emphasize that, uh, that it will support its best to make sure that this happens. The Technopolis platform will be able to drive uh, the initiative to ensure our country uh, can reap the benefits of technology and bring efficiency in a more effective way. East African based business advisory and investment from Nkomoko has announced plans to work with half a million medium and small micro enterprises MSMEs in Kenya by the year 2030. The firm targets to invest 14 billion shillings in supporting small businesses. Different dynamics which create thriving businesses. Um, access to finance is one of those things. Creative entrepreneurs that have a lot of skills and support is another thing. And also the enabling environment that the government can create really does open up new opportunities. We had one name in Rwanda, a different name in Kenya, another name in Ethiopia. But really, entrepreneurs throughout East Africa see themselves as working in a large market. And so the entrepreneurs that are in Mombasa actually want to be able to export to Rwanda and Ethiopia. The entrepreneurs that are in Ethiopia want to have access to Mombasa and other parts of Kenya. It's really hard to be a small business owner. Um, running a business has so many challenges, whether it is um, knowing how to manage all your finances, uh, finding the right staff, making sure the product is exactly what your customers want, providing good customer service. All of these things are day-to-day -day challenges. And now we from Kenya, sovereign debt default is becoming a real possibility for the Ghana. Experts are further earning that uh, any kind of domestic debt restructuring could severely threaten the local banking sector. The West African country turns to the International Monetary Fund IMF to help in July as, it balance of, as its balance of payments position deteriorated and hundreds of people took to the streets to protest against economic hardship.
And at the same time, Sri Lanka's annual inflation rate surged to more than 70% in August as it struggles with its worst economic crisis in over seven decades. So bad is the crisis that the country has been unable to afford key imports, including fuel, fertilizer and medicine. And finally, in sports, Scotland beat Ukraine 3-0 at Hamden Park to move to top of the Group B1 in the UEFA Nationals League. A total of 10 matches are on cards tonight with the friends Croatia, Poland and Belgium among the teams in action. And that sports story marks the end of our broadcast tonight. Many thanks for staying with Newsbeat. See you again. It's been a pleasure. Good night. Enjoy the rest of your programming. My name is Dereva Hillary. Goodbye and good night.